We knew the remodel was going to need a lot of work and we didn't want to overdo it. So we kept the restraint of the mid-century design in our decisions by keeping them minimal. We spend more time outdoors with our family than we do indoors, I think, because on the weekend, we're always out here. It gets cold and windy here in the San Fernando Valley, and infrared heat is ideal for this environment because it doesn't blow away. Installing the Infratech heaters was one of the last steps to the renovation, but I think it was one of the most important because when you spend a lot of money on an outdoor renovation, you want to use that space as much as possible. The original plan was to have shade sails in the screening area and attach the heaters directly to the poles. The mid-century beams made it a little bit challenging. We decided to wall mount the heater in the outdoor screening area. And then for the living area, we mounted the heater directly to the beams and that allowed it to blend in. With the mid-century modern styling of this house, there's no attic space. There's nowhere to run wiring without running it in a conduit. The beams play a big part in this home. So with the heaters that were chosen, they have adjustable brackets and the pipes running to them are painted so it fits in nicely. In the screening area, the CD series was selected because it has a higher output. It can wall mount. It mounts nicely under beam assemblies, keeping the clearances of 18 inches. It also works well over the TV, also keeping the 18 inches of clearance, still producing enough heat for the screening area. The Slimline series was selected for the seating area because of its adjustable bracket and its ability to mount underneath the eaves of the home. The installation starts with shutting off the main power. You then select where the heaters are going to be placed. From there, you'll locate the main power panel for the heaters, the control panel, and then install any switching that is gonna go along with these heaters. You would then run conduit to the heater locations and then pull wire through those conduits to feed the heaters. We install all Infratech heaters with the supplied wiring diagrams. The homeowners wanted some tech, but they don't have a full automation system in their home. We recommended the universal panel so the heaters could be controlled by a smart dimmer switch. This gives the ability to control from a phone or a smart home assistant. When friends come over, there are two areas that are comfortable year round. I can adjust the heaters from my phone and I don't have to leave the area or leave the party in order to do so. And I really like that. I would definitely recommend Infratech heaters to other homeowners. And I would also tell them not to be worried about retrofitting them to your existing structure because that was a concern of mine. And I'm really happy with the way it turned out because now that they're in, they look like they've always been there.